Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. Today I want to talk about how to use samples and impact by using the drag and drop facility that we have in Studio One. So first of all, let's have a listen to the track we're going to be working with. This is from an artist called Abby F. Jones, who I've been working with recently. Fantastic artist. And I just wanted to show you the track because what I've done so far is to program some some drums and I've been umming and ahhing about certain sounds and certain patterns. So I'm not happy so far. So what I'm going to do is completely strip back the main drums and start again. So let's play the track as it is. Okay, so you get the idea. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to load in Impact. So I'm going to come to my Presonus instruments here and just drag in to a new track here. And let's stick it around where the rest of my drums are, which is around there somewhere. Now, as you can see, it's an empty patch. There's no sounds in this at all. So I need to choose some samples. So if I go to Files, and if you look here, I've got all my samples I'm going to be using. And I've already processed these, so I've added delays and distortion and compression to these. So let's go through the sounds first of all. So normally what I like to do is to have my kicks around my C and C sharp area of my keyboard. On impact, it starts at B0. I don't know why they did that because on my keyboard, I don't actually have that unless I actually transpose down. So what I'm going to do is to load that delay kick straight into C. And I'm going to load this kick two into C1. Now, if I push my keyboard, you can hear the samples or I can play them from impact here. I'm going to put my snares on D and I've got a rim here as well that I'm going to put on D sharp. Now my reverse snare, which is this sound here, I'm going to put on E and I've got some percussion sounds here as well. So let's put that F, uh, F sharp and let's put that G there. So now if I go through my keyboard, I can play all the samples. So what I need to do now is to program a part. So let's record that. Okay, so I've added this basic part in here. Some of the timing was a bit off, so I can quantize that later. So let me program the whole the whole song, and then I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so now that I've programmed my main drums, let's have a listen again. Why? 
So what I'm going to do now is, now I'm happy with the, the actual part that I've got, I'm actually going to explode all these pitches out to, uh, to different tracks. So if I come down here and I go explode pitches to tracks, you can see here all of my tracks here, I've now got my individual samples on different channels. So if I play this, So I could, if I wanted to, I could just use impact and then send loads of different outputs to my mixer and mix from there. But what I like to do, I like to work in audio because I can then manipulate the audio as well. So what I'm going to do now is to bounce down all those tracks to audio. So if I highlight all my tracks and right click and push transform to audio track. And as this is going to take some time, I'll come back after all that's been transformed. Okay, so now you can see that all of these instrument files have now been transformed to audio. So let's have another listen. So I hope that helps. I'm Paul from Studio One Expert and I'll see you next time.